Oh, hello there. Didn't see you. Yes, I did. I wrote this scene. Okay. I am here to tell you the story of Macbeth and also to provide insightful commentary on the play itself because, let's be honest, nobody here knows what's going on. So let's, let's get started. Just... So, when should we meet again, sisters? When the battle is over, perhaps? Before sunset, then. Yes, but where? The large field over there? Then, sisters, we shall meet the one known as Macbeth. I hear Grey Malkin. Yo, I gotta go to my toad needs me. We shall meet later, sisters. But first, a joke. Knock, knock. Um, who's there? Ferris. Ferris who? Ferris foul and foul is fair. Hover through the fog in filthy air. <laughs> that means that bad things are good and good things are bad, for those of you who didn't understand. We now join the kind Scottish king, King Duncan Donut, I mean King Duncan, as he is discussing the battle with his son Malcolm. Malcolm, my son, any news about the battle? This captain saved my life in the battle, father. It would be his honor to explain it to you. Yes, the battle was quite evenly matched, with each eye striking at each other with equal strength. Luckily, our captains Macbeth and Bunkle cut their way through the ranks, and Macbeth personally sliced the rebel MacDonwald in two. A worthy man he is, that Macbeth. Yes, but as soon as we sent the Irish troops to rest and recover, the Norwegian king used this opportunity to have ambushed the troops somehow. Did this not frighten Macbeth and Bonquil? Not at all, my lord. The two captains are plot people. Fought, so they fought with twice the strength as before. I'd speak more, but my wounds needed to be tend to. You have done well, sir. Go get patched up. Who are you? It's the Thane of Ross! I hate him already. I assume you have a story to tell? Hurry up. Yes, uh, Indeed, my lord. Back in Fife, the traitorous Thane of Cawdor assaulted our country, attempted to take our land. Macbeth, in his weathered armor, slaughtered the Thane's forces and was victorious. Shut up, Ross. Macbeth has done many deeds for the sake of our land. I'm impressed. Ross, I hate you, but go have the Thane of Cawdor executed. Oh, and tell Macbeth that all of Cawdor's titles belong to him. He earned it. Just don't mess it up like I know you will. Uh, uh, uh yes, my lord. Uh, exert. exert! We now rejoin the witches in their designated meeting spot to wait for Macbeth. Where have you two been? Slaughtering pigs, obviously. Typical for you. You should be talking. Where were you? Trying to get some chestnuts from the sailor's wife, but she wouldn't share. Her husband sailed to Aleppo, and I want to go there so I can turn myself into a tailless rat and mess with him. I fully support that. Thanks, I appreciate it. We'll give you some wind to get there, hon. I already have control of the winds. And boy, oh boy, does that man have it coming for him when I get there. He's not going to get any sleep for months. I will make him suffer for 81 weeks straight. All for the chestnuts. Those sweet, sweet chestnuts. Man, that is messed up. <laughs> <laughs> and we now meet the man from which this story is named, and his brother-in-arms. Big Macbeth and Banknote. I, I mean Macbeth and Banquo. Macbeth is coming! Act natural! Hiya, 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 hiya. This is natural for us? Are we there yet? Who are these strange ladies? Hey, I'm Macbeth! Hey, I'm Macbeth! Thane of Glamis, Thane of Cawdor, and our future king. What? Oh, forgive my friend. Your kind fortune seemed to have shocked him. What happens to me, pray tell? Don't spare me any details. You die a horrible, painful death at the hands of assassins. What was that? You shall have heirs that will one day take the throne, yet you shall never have it yourself. Hey, I'm Macbeth! Uh, uh, wait, no, hold on a second. Dude, what did we smoke? No idea. Oh god, it's this guy. Macbeth, Bakwa! I come with glad tidings. Macbeth, you have been named the Thane of Cawdor. Shut up, Ross. But the Thane of Cawdor? This is exactly what the witches foretold. I know. I hope this doesn't make you think you should go after the crown, too. Psh. Well, 
No way, man. Yeah, we should definitely talk about this later. If you insist, exunt! Exunt! We now return to the king, discussing the execution of the former Thane of Cawdor with his son. Is he dead? Did we kill him? Yes, father. I have heard the reports. The treacherous Thane is dead. Quite a shame. I trusted him. Oh, Macbeth! Why would you bring him back here? My lord, please. Either way, Macbeth, Banquo, I must congratulate you both for your victory in the battle. Here, I must introduce you to my son, the future king. <laughs> to celebrate your ascension to the Thane of Cawdor, I do hope you shall invite me to your humble abode. Oh, certainly, my lord. My wife and I would love to have you. No horrible murders will happen at all. Oh. Splendid! Wait, hold on. A Angus, do you have any lines yet? Oh, I, I guess not. Okay. Excellent! <laughs> Lady Macbeth and Cheese, I, I mean Lady Macbeth, has just received a letter from her husband detailing his thoughts about betraying the king in order to take his place. My dear lady love, I write this letter to you out of the worst type of distress. I received a prophecy from some strange woman that told me that I would become the Thane of Cawdor, and then the king. I have already received the title of Thane, but in order to become the king, I would have to kill my king. The king comes tonight to celebrate my new thaneship and plans to stay until the next morn. I am quite torn up about this. I know that you will set me straight. Your husband, Macbeth. He is too afraid to do what needs to be done for our sake. I must get my hands dirty as well. God, give me strength. The lady! Have you received my letter? The king is coming tonight. Yes, although I don't believe he will be leaving. No, not at all, in fact. But, uh, we'll talk about this later. Yes, after the deed is done. Da, 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 da. The king, along with a bunch of other people, show up at Macbeth's castle in order to celebrate his new, new thaneship of Cawdor, including Angus, but you wouldn't know because the guy doesn't have any lines to like the end of the play. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, everybody. I'm, I'm, I'm very tired. I've been writing this script for about five hours now. I might take a nap. What a beautiful place! Such a shame it looks like all the other places that we've been today. I agree. Ah, you must be the lady of the house. Please forgive my intrusion, but know that it is out of love. Oh, it's no trouble. I can't wait to murder this guy. Where is Macbeth? I had hoped to arrive before him, but that guy is really fast, like seriously. Plus, we had to carry a little extra baggage. In any case, I shall bring you to the lord of the house. You are our guests. Whenever you are ready, my dear. Excellent! Macbeth has left his king and the rest of his guests during dinner to contemplate the ramifications of Duncan's murder. He obviously talks about that stuff out loud because he's a total ding-dong. Also, do any of you know what nomenclature means? Tell me, tell me later if you do. I don't know what nomenclature means. I, I don't think I can do this. It, it's wrong. It is so, so wrong. This is a sin greater than I can carry. This guy loves me! Why would I ever even consider this? You are having second thoughts, husband? Ah, oh, you, you frightened me. Boy, I, I cannot do this. It is the worst possible thing I could do to any man. <laughs> you call yourself a man? <laughs> I am more of a man than you, coward. If it were necessary for my continued happiness and thrive, I would bash out the brains of my own newborn child! That's not something we added in. She actually says that in the play. Pretty messed up, isn't it? But, but, no buts! Look, it's simple. All we have to do is wait for him to fall asleep. Then I'll give his guards a touch of me to inebriate them. Then you go in, and you do what any real man who loved me would do. You, you are a cruel and heartless creature, but I love you. I shall do it for you. Banquo and his son Fleets are having trouble sleeping, so they're wandering around Macbeth's castle by torchlight. I can relate. I haven't slept in days from writing this. My son, how goes the night? It's close and the moon has set, but the clock hasn't gone off yet. I thought as much. The devil has tainted me with, with exhaustion, and yet I just can't sleep. Who's there? It's just me. How's our fair king? He's in bed already. He's quite a jovial fellow, offering a diamond to your beloved. Anyway, I have been thinking about the witch's prophecies. Part of it came true, didn't it? 
I don't think about that too hard. If you want, we can discuss it more tomorrow in finer detail. I can agree to that. Good night, my friend. I... I... I see a dagger lie before me. The handle pointing towards my hand. Yet, I can't seem to touch it like any other object. Foolish ghost, and yet, it seems to point in the correct direction. Ah, uh, this dagger knows what I desire. It seems to direct me towards my given goal. I can see blood spattered across my blade, almost as if I have committed the murder already. I feel as if, insert multiple names here, referencing, insert many symbols here, are drawing themselves towards me. I gotta stop right now. The more I speak to myself, the less time I have to kill the king. And the more likely I'm going to lose my so lovely soprano voice. Ding dong, ding dong. I shall be going now. The king is as good as dead. His eyes closed upon his head. The bells demand his life has reached its little summit. Don't listen to it, Duncan. For it is your doom. Oh my sprinkles! Oh. I got the guards so drunk that they passed out, but I am ready to to something. Have a kind of king or whatever. Wife, is that you? Yeah! Hey there! Did you do the thing? Uh, are you, you drunk? What? No! Hey! Why do you have the guard's knives you see here? I'll put those back for you. You go get cleaned up. <laughs> uh, okay, I guess. Exit. The porter is the guy who opens the castle gate. Like the queen, he is incredibly intoxicated. Lucky. Man, I am so drunk. I think I might pee. But first I gotta let these losers in. Is everybody just drunk today for some reason? My god! I almost wish I was this guy. Last night was terrible. It almost felt as though the very ground I stood on was weeping in anguish. We now introduce you to another important person in this story. Er Macduff. I, I mean Macduff. For you uncultured swine out there who don't know who Er Mac is, he's a fighter in Mortal Kombat. And that's the joke. You guys, it's terrible. Just awful. The king. He was slain in his bed last night. What? Oh no! This is new and surprising information. I must tell everyone. Raise the alarm bell. <laughs> Can we keep the noise down? I've got a wicked hangover. I'm sorry, my lady, but I'm afraid the king... Banquo. Oh, it's terrible. The king was killed last night. What? Oh, wait. Oh, now I remember. What? Oh, um, I mean, oh! You must be joking. Tell me you're joking. Then. This is a transition scene. That means that some stuff happened, and now we're here. This has been a terrible day. I, I can't believe the king is dead. And that I personally had nothing to do with it. Oh, no. Hey, what's going on? I, I'm very sorry, boys, but I killed your... I, I mean, your father was killed last night. What? Who did it? His guards, it seems, they are found this morning with blood on their daggers. The words, we totally did it, written on their foreheads with the king's blood. I'm afraid this evidence is quite conclusive. Yes! That's why I murdered them after they feigned ignorance. That's why... You killed them? Why? That seems a bit excessive. Plus, they were given no trial or chance to defend themselves. Hey, I've been on the floor for a while. Could some of you help me out here, please? What are we going to do, Malcolm? The obvious real killer could be coming for us next. For right now, we'll grieve. Then later on, when our grief has peaked, we shall turn that grief into action. Could somebody get her off the floor, please? The five-second rule for macaroni is long past by this point. When everyone is bundled up for the cold, let us discuss the murder. Maybe we'll be able to figure something out. Agreed. 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 Yes, well then, we shall meet in the hall later. Adieu, my friends. What should we do now? 
I believe I'll head to England. I'm going to Ireland then. It's the best it's best that we split up for now. The people we trust most could possibly be coming for us next. We have not come up against anything like this before. Let's just get on our horses and ride. Don't bother saying goodbye. We have to get out of here. Quickly, um, where are our horses? Josh isn't that good at building props. Ah, fair enough. Well, let's just go then. Excerpt! Hey you, useless guy. Come here. What? Uh, come on, what? What is it? What do you want? Have you seen all the weird stuff that's been happening since the king died? I've seen eagles get killed by owls, water setting on fire, human sacrifice, dogs and cats living together, mass hysteria! Uh, was that a Ghostbusters reference? Shut up, Ross. Nobody likes you. Uh, hey, now, that, that was just uncalled for. I, I totally have friends. <laughs> No, 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 So no one told you life was gonna be this way. Oh, that was weird. Anyway, do you know who could have killed the king? The guards, obviously. Have you been paying attention? Yes, I have. My question is, why would they do that? Greed, probably. The king's sons have gone missing, so I assume they paid the guards to kill their father so they could usurp him. Hmm. What foolish ambition, I suppose. Macbeth will be named king now? He already has. He's off to Scone to be crowned at this moment. The late King Duncan's body has already been laid to rest, so there's nothing left to do but crown a new king. Ah, I guess we'll go to Scone then. Are you coming? No, I believe I'm heading to Fife. Well, may things go well for you when you get there. See you later, obligatory old man. God's blessing to you, useless toilet paper man. May your bad tidings turn good and your enemies to allies. Hint, hint, nudge, nudge, foreshadowing. Exert! Macbeth has now been named king, but Banquo was worried about the legitimacy of his friend being crowned ruler. Huh. The prophecies have come true. I can't believe that Macbeth did this fairly, though. However, according to the prophecies, my descendants will be kings, and not his. Huh. Well, if it isn't Banquo, say, we're having a banquet to celebrate my rise to royalty, and I would be honored if you could attend. It would be my honor, my king. However, I am going riding with my son soon after this, so I may be a tad late. Oh, that's perfectly fine. I shall see you there. But after that, I'm going to have a stabby surprise for you and your dirty crown ceiling son, old friend. <laughs> what was that? Oh, nothing. I'll see you at the banquet, Bonkro. Goodbye, my lord. Everybody that the audience can't see, the banquet starts at seven. Until then, I wish to be alone, if you don't mind. I fear Banquo now. It's as if I murdered Duncan, not for my sake, but for his children's. I won't let that happen, though. If the future is set in stone, then I shall shatter it. Who's there? It's me. You asked me to be here. Why else would I? Who else would I be? Yeah. Ah, yes. My apologies. Have you thought on my offer? How I explained to you that all your misfortunes are the fault of Banquo. Yes. You explained it so well that I fear there is no reason to explain it, so us murdering Banquo for you actually makes sense. Excellent! Yeah, kill it time. Gentlemen, to the death of your enemy and our continued survival, I'll tell you exactly where he'll be. And when so, there are no surprises. Remember to kill him and the boy. Understand? Yes, my king. Good. I am sorry, dear Bunko. But now is your time. But for some reason, every time I kill, I always start to rhyme. Huh. Lady Macbeth and Macbeth have been troubled by terrible dreams since the night that they killed Duncan. So they try to console each other all Bonnie and Clyde style as well as two psychopaths really can. Banquo left already? Yes, ma'am, but he's coming back for the banquet. He'll be a tad late, though. All right. Tell the king I wish to speak to him right away. Yes, my lady. I'm queen now. This is what I wanted. So why am I so afraid? Where have you been? Alone and sulking? What's done is done, my love. Leave it in the past. Nothing is done yet. 
We've only scratched the surface of our sins. I killed those men. And for what? Nothing but anxiety and fear. Things will look up, my love. Let's both just try to look happy and presentable for our guests tonight. All right, my love. Just try to be kind to Cabanco, all right? It's his last day, after all. Husband, please stop that. I'm sorry. As long as he lives, I know he can't truly be happy. He'll die soon enough. That's comforting, at least. I won't tell you the details, though. It's better that you're more innocent than I. We're in too deep already. Sins piling on sins. Let's be off. We have a party to attend. Exude. The two murderers that Macbeth hired to kill Bonquo, along with the third mysterious murderer that was sent by Macbeth, are preparing their assault on Bonquo and fleets. Um, who's this guy? I, I was sent by Macbeth to assist you. I mean, I trust you, but we really don't need you. You seem pretty... Pointless. Yeah. E even you guys? Seriously? You're contract killers and you're judging me? Hey, come on, man! Fine, fine. Just keep your voice down. Still a tad light out. The target will be here shortly. Shh. I hear horses. No, you don't. We couldn't make those props, remember? Oh. Oh, yeah. Son, it's getting dark. Light us a torch, will you? Just keep it away from me. Damaging currency is a federal offense. I see the torch. Get ready. Huh. I feel like I'm about to set up a line for people about to attack us. Witty play on words! Wait, 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 wait a minute. Ross? You're actually helping them? Actually, it's only a theory. I, I gotta do this, yeah. Oh. Flints! Fly, you fool! Father, there's no time for witty references. There's always time! Just avenge me, my son! Are you slaves? Slave is another way of saying a naughty word that I'm not going to say. It's the thing that Kyle calls people in South Park whenever they kill Kenny. So there's your hint. Wait, Josh, why is your shirt changed to Joker? You're crazy, shut up. Oh, okay. <laughs> the kid! Where's the kid? He ran away. Are you serious? That was like half the job, guys! So, who's going to tell Macbeth? Oh, come on! No, no, one of you can do it, guys! Fine! Exude! Exude! Macbeth's banquet has started, and all of the guests are starting to arrive. Except for two of them. Thank you all for coming. Now just to be fair, let us sit in accordance with our ranks. I'm the king, so I had the table, obviously. It is truly a pleasure to have you all here. Ah, uh, I'm sure it's their pleasure as well. <laughs> what are you doing? That's blood all over you, idiot. Well, there's no, there isn't, but let's just pretend you are. Would it make you feel better if I said the imaginary blood was Bonquo's? Much better, actually. You finished them? Both of them? I did half of that. Oh, good, good, thank you. Wait, whoa, what? The boy, Fleens, escaped a bit. You, you must be joking. I, I was very specific about this. How could you kill a grown man but miss a small child? Well... Whatever. Banco is dead. That's enough for today. Get out of here. We'll speak again tomorrow. You're wanted at the table, my lord. We must enter, entertain these people. Otherwise, what's the point of the celebration? Ah, thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, your attention. A toast to good health and irony. Here, here. Sit down, my lord. I do hope that Banco arrives soon. It is perfectly fine, my lord. Why don't you sit? Shut up, Ross. I'm only being polite and giving my seat to this gentleman here. Also, where did you come from? Who? This guy. Uh, hello, good sir. You... I, I didn't do this to you. No, I didn't. You can't say I did. Everyone up, your highness. You aren't well. Shut up, Ross. He is perfectly fine. This is just a small fit. He's had his... Affliction since childhood. Everyone, please calm down, and it'll be over soon. I'm guilty. Look at me, everyone. I'm guilty! Just ravings. Nobody paid him in any mind. I killed Duncan and Bunko. Me! I did it! He didn't actually say that outright, but it was implied. 
Just the ravings of a madman. Nobody pay him any mind. For the love of all that is good, ignore him. You're dead! You can't be here, so I refuse to believe you are here. Return from whence you came, spirit of my guilt. Ah, oh, fine. Kill me and I can't even come to the party, huh? I see how you are. Are you nuts? I saw him! He was here! No, he wasn't! Uh, forgive me, value guess. That happens from the uh, time to time. Let me make another toast to Banco, a man who is definitely alive for sure. Cheer. Go away, Banco. I was invited. It's my party and I'll die if I want to. Oh. Everyone, please ignore my husband. It doesn't usually happen this often. I'll, I'm brave. Take any form but that one, and I'll stand tall, but not that one. Leave me alone. You are so conceited. What is it you're seeing, my lord? Shut up, Ross. Okay, that's enough. Everyone, out! I wish you a speedy recovery, my king. Yeah, cram it, Lemnox. Out, all of you. You're upsetting him. Oh, he's come for me. I know he has. Bunko. Calm yourself, husband. I cannot. I ordered Macduff to be here. But did he obey his king? No! They all out to get me. Didn't you send for Macduff? I did. I even had their servants spying on nearly everyone I know. Ah, I shall go see the king, the witches, tomorrow. I'm too far to go back now. I need them to tell me everything. Every action I take from now on. I'll need to do that fast. That way there's no chance of my conscience stopping me. You're tired, husband. Let's go to bed. Yes, sir. Our inexperience with crime is only amplified by drowsiness. Exult. We now get an interesting view into the lives of the witches and their master, the, the goddess of witchcraft, Hecate. That is not pronounced the way it is spelled. Like, it's like, it, the way it looks, it looks like it's spelled like Hecate. The only reason I know how to pronounce it is because she was in a video game I played once. Oh. My goddess, what troubles you? You do, you insolent little troglodytes. How dare you give this Macbeth insight into the future without consulting me. I am the source of your power. You obey me. Now, I must do something much more horrible to this Macbeth than your simple trick. Bring me every magical item and spell you have. We shall trick this Macbeth with simple illusions, but the impact they have will last him the rest of his life. <laughs> I am being called. Do not disappoint me. We have to hurry with the spell. She'll be back soon. I am not a troglodyte. Exude. Exude. After the banquet, Lennox is speaking with a lord about Macbeth. So, he's definitely not a psychopath, right? Right. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. What? Was that really all that scene was? Just <laughs> those two just nonchalantly calling out Macbeth in case they were being watched? Yep, pretty much. Uh, Macduff is getting hunted by Macbeth for disrespecting him by not going to Scotland when requested. Yada yada, let's move on. Macbeth is visiting the witches again in order to obtain more information about the future so he'll have the upper hand. Go. It is time. Get everything ready. It's ready. What's in this? A bunch of things, really, but mostly... Coconut milk. Well done, my pretties. Now, say the magic word to initiate the spell. Abracadabra, Abracadam. Something's coming. What are you doing? Are you hiding something from me? Tell me what I wish to know. Ask us nicely and then we'll answer. Ah. Let me speak to your master. Alright, just wait a minute. Got your golden arches in a bunch. Show yourself! Tell me what- He can already read your thoughts. Just let him do his thing. Beware Macduff and the Thane of Fife. But you should keep living, for nobody born from a woman can harm you. Oh, so I don't even have to kill. Macduff now. I fear no one, but I shall order someone to kill him for me. Be brave and proud. You won't be defeated until the Burnham Wood march to fight you at Gunsign Hill. <laughs> That'll never happen. 
I will be king for the rest of my natural life. But I have one more thing to ask. Will Banquo's sons ever rule? Hey, no more questions. Curse you! I want to be satisfied! Show him. Uh, ah! Go away! Oh, I'm Banquo! And these are my descendants! Ah! Uh, stop! Make it go away! Make it go away! That was for making me miss the banquet, jerk. Is it true? Are these all descendants of Banquo? Yep. Oh, come on, Macbeth. Cheer up. I know what'll make you feel better. Sisters, gather. Five, six, seven, eight. Woo! Lennox, did you see them? The witches! They are foul creatures. No, sir. I saw nothing. Yes, of course. Anyways, why are you here? Macduff has fled to England. Dah! Drats! Foiled again! I shall act immediately next time. Where are the messengers? Bring them to me, Exunt. Macduff has gone missing and his family misses him terribly. Lady Macduff is currently speaking with Ross about her grief. Why would he leave? Why? Why? He hates his family! Nobody knows. Pull it together, okay? He probably has a good reason for it. I have to go now and leave the gate open and sing to the men who are about to kill you and your child. Shut up, Ross. Wait, what? Oh, don't worry. It's only a theory that I did that. Oh, okay then. Shut up, Ross. <laughs> you are fatherless. What are we gonna do now? I'll live like a bird. Oh, so you're gonna start eating worms and maggots? Oh, the horror! Why? No, Mom. I meant I'm gonna live on whatever I get, like a bird. I have hope, no matter what you say, that Dad is not dead. He is, though. Was he a traitor? Most definitely. But what will you do without him? If you were dead, you'd be weeping for him. If you aren't we weeping, it's a good sign that I'll soon have a new father. Silly boy. Something dangerous is coming. Take my advice. Please don't be here when it comes. Take your kids and leave. Wait. Where should I go? What am I going to do? I'm already scared and helpless enough. Where is your husband? He is a traitor. No, he is not. <laughs> oh. Say that again. What's that, young son of a traitor? Blood, blood, and death. <laughs> After tireless searching, Mac Macduff has finally located the rightful king, the son of Duncan, Malcolm. Let's just find some shady place to sit and cry. We could do that. Or we could defend our homeland and fight for what's right. I will avenge whatever I believe in, and I'll believe in whatever I'm sure is true. You should probably just sacrifice me to Macbeth now, since we're gonna lose anyways. I'm not evil. Macbeth is, even though everything evil wants to look good, good still has to look good, too. I have officially lost all hope in you. Maybe you lost your hopes for me when I found my doubts for you. Why did you leave your wife and child, the most precious things in your life? How could you leave them behind? I'm not trying to go against you. Just be honest with me. I am not the villain you see me as. I don't completely distrust you, and I am still on your side. The English have promised me thousands of troops to defeat Macbeth. But even if he dies, our country will be in much greater trouble. It'll suffer more even under the reign of the next king. Who are you talking about? Me! Macbeth will seem like an angel compared to me. No way you can find a devil worse than Macbeth. Macbeth is murderous and cruel. Nobody is denying that. But nothing can satisfy my problem with lust for women. I mean nothing! Lust and greed has made, me, has made many kings fall. But don't be afraid to take the crown. What's rightfully yours. You can find a way to keep your desires secret. But I don't even have what it takes to be king. I have no good qualities. I am nothing. Let me know if you find someone fit to be king. Well, the way you describe yourself, you're not even fit to live. My doubts about you have disappeared. I will let myself be guided by you. I take back the things I said about myself. They don't really describe my true character. The person who I really am is ready to serve you and our poor country. What kind of Willy Wonka test was that? You make no sense. Hey, look, it's Doctor Who. We'll speak more soon.
Is Edward coming out, Doctor? Yes, but he is with a sick crowd that has a terrible illness. But when he touches them, they heal instantly like power from heaven. Thank you. What disease? It's called the evil. Edward heals the sickest of the people beyond the help of surgery by placing a gold coin over them and saying holy prayers. Hello, sir. How's Scotland, Russ? It's... it's Ross. Whatever. Scotland is no longer the land where we were born. It is the land where we'll die. Oh, no. Every minute another awful thing happens. How are my wife and child? Fine. Don't be sassy. What's the news? I heard rumors that good men are arming themselves to rebel against Macbeth. When I saw Macbeth's army on the move, I knew the rumors were true. I'm returning to Scotland, then. I, uh, have other news. What is it, then? Come on, spit it out. Your castle was attacked. Your wife and children were slaughtered. I didn't tell you sooner because I helped. I mean, I knew the head news would kill you, too. They killed everyone, even your servants. My entire family? Pull it together, man. Vengeance will be ours. I blame myself. Transform your grief into anger. Let your feelings turn into revenge on Macbeth. Bring me to Macbeth. I want to see his face when I kill him. I want to see the light leave his eyes. Now that's a man. Let us venture off to kill Macbeth. A new day shall come at last. Exunt. Exunt. A gentlewoman that has been watching Lady Macbeth since Macbeth left to see the witches has called in a doctor that inexplicably looks like exactly like the other doctor that was in that last scene to diagnose what's wrong with Lady Macbeth. I have been I have been here for two whole nights. Are you sure she's been sleepwalking, ma'am? Absolutely certain. Ever since Macbeth left, I have seen her walk around to perform normal actions all while sleeping. You say so? Well, I do admit that it is unnatural to sleep and perform mundane actions at the same time. Has she shed anything during her sleep? She has, but I cannot tell what. Look here, she comes fast asleep too, I assume. Is she holding an imaginary candle? Yes, she ordered to have a light by her side at all times. Look at her eyes, doctor. They are open, but the way she moves is almost like she's blind. Sometimes she even washes her hands for 15 minutes straight. Don't ask me why. Another spot. Curses! The lady speaks? Why won't this spot come of? Bah! It doesn't matter, my lord. It is nonsense. You are a soldier, and you are afraid? There is no reason to be afraid. No one will catch us, and no one can stop us now. But why? Why does the good king spill, oh, so much blood? Ramble, ramble, ramble. Oh, the lane of Fife has a wife. Will my hands ever remain clean? No, no more. I must stop now, or my plan to rule will fail. What secret is she keeping? She doesn't say, but who knows what dark secrets lie within her. Her rambling suggests a heart burdened by something, none of which my medical skills can fix. But I have met those who have sleepwalked and haven't been guilty of anything. Wash your hands, put on the nightgown, don't be frightened, Banco can, cannot rise from that grave of his. Oh, a knocking at the door, quickly to bed. These actions that she is committing are more natural than I would have thought. She doesn't need me. She needs a priest. Look after her. Don't let her use anything that could put her in harm. Don't blink. Don't even blink. Blink and you are dead. She's fast. Faster than you can believe. Don't turn your back. Don't look away. And don't blink. Good night, madam. I'll, uh, I'll keep that in mind, then, doctor. Thank you. Yes. Malcolm, joined by his English army and an army of rebels but led by Mentai, Caithness, Angus, and Lennox at Burnham Wood, are preparing themselves to storm Macbeth's heavily fortified and armed castle. Are those real names? The English army nears, led by Malcolm, Seward, and Macduff. The suffering that the group has endured is enough to make the dead rise. We shall meet them at Burnham Wood. Hey, I finally got a line! Angus finally gets a line, you guys! Congratulations! Will Donald Bane be with his brother? He will not. I have a list of plot-relevant people, and he's not on it. Seward's son will join us, though, as well as any children soon to become men after this. Macbeth is probably fortifying Dunsinane with heavy defenses. Rumors say that he has lost it, while the fanboys are calling it brave anger. All I can say is that he's out of control. 
The rebels punish him every day for his actions. Even his own soldiers are only following orders. His control over, the, over this country is too small for anyone to even consider him a king. Who can blame him for going insane when he condemns even himself for what he's done? Let's just keep on marching and give our loyalty to a true king. We'll meet with Malcolm, the man who will save this country. However, we still need to make him king. Onwards to Burnham. No more reports. Who cares if my things desert me? Until the battle actually commences, I will not be afraid. This Malcolm has been born naturally, correct? <laughs> the spirits themselves claim I will not die to anyone born naturally. So leave, you traitorous things. Join your pitiful English army. I will not falter with fear and doubt. You fool! Why do you look so frightened? There are over ten thousand. Red herrings, idiot! Soldiers, sir. Calm yourself, you cowardly half-wits. Soldiers? Bah! <laughs> Your face will fright more than the soldiers themselves. What soldiers? English army, sir. Out of my sight! Satan! Come here. This battle will either secure my reign or secure my own downfall. I have lived long enough as it is. The course of my own being withers. The things that I would have experienced as an elder, I do not have. I get passionate, but at the same time, hateful comments. My own people distrust me on their own hearts. I would end these hearts if I had a chance. Satan! Yes, my lord. Uh, oh, whoa, uh, are you literally... <laughs> Never mind! Any more news? All news has been confirmed, my lord. Good. Send out the cavalry. Scour the whole country. And hang all spreading fear. Doctor! How is my wife? She's not sick, but she is troubled with vision. Well, treat her! Can't you treat her with a drug or something? She will have to treat herself, my lord. Screw medicine, then. I'll have nothing to do with it. Satan! Hand me my armor and my lance. Doctor, you know of any medicine to cure my country's sickness? I would assume your war preparations would be a good treatment. Satan! The armor! Follow me. I will not be afraid of any death or destruction. Exude! Exude. Malcolm Seward, Seward's son, Caithness, Angus, Angus, Angus Mentith, Lennox, and some loser named Ross, are marching towards Macbeth's castle from Burnham Wood, when Malcolm suddenly has an idea. An idea so stupid that it might actually work. The story dictates that it has to, so... Yeah, d dog. <laughs> that after this all the nameless people that are also made of random junk like we are can be safe in their own homes. Hopefully. Say, what's the name of these woods again? It is Burnham Wood. Tell all of our men to break off a branch from a tree and hold it out in front of them. That way we can conceal ourselves against Macbeth's spies. Why? That seems completely unnecessary. Oh, wait! Burnham Wood is the woods the witches said would be march against Macbeth's castle the day he'd be defeated. I get it. Yes, random soldier guy. Exactly. Not that we actually know that. Apparently Macbeth's spies are also visions impaired. Well, you all heard me. Grab a branch. Macb See, Macbeth wants us to do this, you know. Though when push comes to shove, his soldiers will leave him. Only those who are forced to fight will stay. Let's not jump to conclusions just yet. Let's just try to roll with the punches. Hmm, indeed. Inspiring before battle words? Let's keep going! It's now mad with the thoughts of being untouchable, Macbeth is now mocking his enemies, though he is about to be greeted with some troubling news. This castle is well fortified enough to last me through the laughable siege. Even if it wasn't, destiny itself is on my side. I am immortal. Nothing can stop me now. Ah! Uh, what was that? A woman crying out in fear, my lord. I'll go see why. Fear? Ha! I am numb to the word. The horrors I've committed far away anything the mortal realm could offer me. Wouldn't you like to know why a woman screamed, my lord? Oh, uh, why? It was one of the queen's maidens, my lord. She is dead. Oddly enough, they couldn't even find the body after it was discovered. <laughs> uh, it doesn't matter. Everyone dies eventually. 
Not me, though. Destiny had decided it so. Whatever you have to say, say it before I lose interest. I saw something, my lord, but it is nearly impossible. I saw Bird and Wood marching on the castle. It's heading this way. You are a liar and a slave, sir. Remember what I said earlier about the word slave? They killed Kenny. Okay? Okay. I swear it, my king. See for yourself. Huh. Well, I'll be darned. That incredibly specific prophecy came to fruition. No matter. March on, my castle beauty trees, and I shall crush you all like fleas. And as you enter the devil's den, you'll probably realize I'm rhyming again. I need to stop doing that. <coughs> Exerts! Exerts! Malcolm and his troops reach the castle and drop their useless trees that really shouldn't have fooled anybody, and they prepare for the battle. Everyone, throw down your camouflage and take up your arms. Seward, you and your son lead the troops, and Macduff and I will storm the castle. All right, good luck, my friend. But don't you want backup? Nah, we've got two of the main characters in our group. I think we'll be okay. See you later. During the battle, Macbeth finds young Seward, which was, you know, the exact opposite of young Seward's job. You had one job, tiny Seward. One job. My castle is surrounded. I can't leave. Who is this man who wasn't born of woman? Everything the witches have said so far have come true, so why not that? Hi, who are you? My name strikes fear in the hearts of all. I am Macbeth. You? You are a pathetic excuse for a man. I shall strike you down here and now. Ah. I see you were born from a woman. <laughs> You coward, Macbeth. The haunting spirits of my wife and children will act as our spectators for when I kill you. Then they can finally rest. I will be the one to kill you. I swear it. I do actually kill you later in the story, so this statement completely checks out. You know, my lord, that was way easier than I thought it would be. Most of Macbeth's troops are fighting on our side now, and the ones that still fight for him are barely doing any damage to us. Let us enter the castle. Macbeth is waiting. Suicide? I can't commit suicide. <laughs> I was born of a woman. Well, not a woman, but th he does wear makeup. Clown makeup. Macbeth, face me now. If you're looking for an apology for killing your family, I already feel bad enough about that. You can just leave now. Oh, I'll leave all right. I'll leave cuts in your body so deep they will paint red your tainted soul. Hello there, Josh here. We're almost done with the play. We usually have these little messages for me to just explain what's going on in the scene, but this one is around the middle of this one. I realized while writing the script for this that I was just like, Hey self, yes brain Josh? These people spent a good long time watching this and paying attention to the video, and we're just gonna be smacking the props around just for the end of this. And then I said, yeah, that's a good point brain Josh. So what we're going to do for the end of this is we're going to have a real-life death battle between August as Macbeth and Sarah as Macduff. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Do, do we have anything less murdery? I don't want to hurt Augie. Ah, fine. I uh, d don't think this is right either, man. Oh. <laughs> um... I don't have that many props, you guys, okay? Just, just take what you can get. You can't even wound me! The Weird Sisters told me that I can only be killed by a man who wasn't born of woman! You may as well be stabbing at a shadow! I bet that your witch friends failed to mention that a woman didn't give birth to me. I was cut out of my mother's womb. In actuality, neither of us are born from a woman. Josh just printed out these characters from the printer in the art room. Oh, no matter! I fear nothing anymore! You hear me? Fate does not control me. I control it. Those witches can't control me. I refuse to fight you anymore! You yield then? I must warn you, we will not be kind to you if you do. I will not grovel for forgiveness from Malcolm or from those commoners. We fight here to the death. The first man to yield, may he burn in the deepest depths of hell.
Fatality. Okay, I hope you all enjoyed that. We now return to our regularly scheduled embarrassment. I'm out of here. Oh, here's um, uh, Malcolm or whatever. I really wish all our friends could have survived the battle. What friends? The only person we knew who really died was my son. The people, and the people only barely knew him for about five minutes. Not even that, really. Yeah. Anyways, where's Macduff? Do you think he's okay? Yeah, he's probably fine. Shut up, Russ. You said that, so he's probably dead. Thanks a lot. Oh. Praise be to King Malcolm. In your name, my king, I bring you the head of the tyrant. Praise be to you, young king of Scotland. Hail. My thanes and friends, I name each of you the first earls of Scotland. All is settled now and right with the world. Thank all of you. You are all free to join me to be crowned in scone. Hopefully, Macduff, you shall show up to this one. <laughs> <laughs> so many people are dead. <laughs> <laughs> all right, exeunt. Exeunt! Everybody with me? On great green globs of Grammy Greasy Gopher Guts, mutilated monkey meat, concentrate of turkey feet, great green globs of Grammy Greasy Gopher Guts, and me without my spoon. Good job. <laughs> Yet you shall never have it yourself. Hey, I'll do my best. Wait. <laughs> I said, oh, God. <laughs> have you received my letter? The king is coming tonight. <laughs> what is it? Oh, you say sinister. <laughs> you weren't so, It's just, ta it's just saying, saying how you My dear lady love. Wait, hold on. Wait. <laughs> a bunch of people show up at Macbeth's house in order to set up the top. The king, along with a bunch of other people, show up at Macbeth's castle in order to celebrate his attention. attention. What a beautiful place! It's such a shame that it looks like all the other places that we've been today. I agree. must be the lady of the house. Please forgive my intruder. <laughs> and then Ross and Buckle fell over. <laughs> Remember kids, pot is bad. <laughs> you guys, it's terrible. Just awful. The king. He was slain in his bed last night. Oh. <laughs> oh, Faithbo. Oh, it's terrible. The king was killed last night. What? Oh, wait. Yeah, oh, that's... No, no I... what? <laughs> okay, we're... Okay. Beth is murderous and cruel. Nobody is denying that. But nothing can satisfy <laughs> I get it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.